All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. We are back with part number two here on the Apex Sound 2. I actually streamed part one on my main channel, the Apex Sound channel, my sports channel, because I didn't have streaming activated on this channel yet. But we're back now with part two of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I'm still gonna be uploading the highlights from the stream as a part one on this channel. And we're gonna be continuing on the series until its conclusion here on the Apex Sound 2. Uh, using a few more shorts and stuff like that as well. Appreciate all the support on the channel recently. Uh, we're working our way towards 10,000 subscribers and hopefully we can do that in a quick and efficient manner. Thanks for all the support as I said guys. Let's jump in. We left off. We just got our wand from um, from this place right here of course. We got it from Olivandes and there it is right there. But it's locked now. It's closed because we already got our wand I suppose. But yeah our wand's looking lit and uh, I really enjoyed what I've played of this game so far. We've played about two and a half hours so far and absolutely loving it. I really am. So, yeah, let me know if you want to see me do the rest of this series as videos or streams. So, I've streamed part one. I'm recording part two. Let me know what you think fits better for this game. Because I think streaming actually kind of works well with this game. If you want to see me stream a few parts and I can upload highlights after or something like that, let me know. Because I'm down for the interaction while playing Hogleg. Uh, but I'm very intrigued to get into the meat of this game now. We're exploring around Hogsmeade. And uh, we're trying to do a few things here. Uh, we are visiting Tomes and Scrolls, visiting J. Pippin's Potions, and visiting the Magic Neep. So the map is absolutely monstrous as well. Look at the size of this bloody map. The whole way out. Look at the size of this bloody map, boys. Like, I just walked all the way to Hogsmeade, and that that took us a decent amount of time. And it's only, it's literally only a sliver of the map that we've discovered so far it goes so far down here which is uh quite incredible and uh let's select one of the next things we'll do actually so we're going up this way we might as well go to tomes and scrolls first i just turned off do not disturb mode as well guys because uh, i want to see the trophies pop and i didn't realize that dnd turns off the trophies as well i wish it would and there's probably a way to mind. turn that off what's up thomas brown how you doing buddy just having a look around your store first i love that all the paintings move as well it's so cool Okay, I did that, I guess. You alright there, Thomas? I'm just having a look upstairs, pal, alright? Ooh. And a chest! A Wiganwell potion! Nice! That's our health potions, I believe. I'll use one of them. Oh, cool. How you doing, pal? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. Hello, Thomas. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Maybe but for I our room. Let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's look at what we have, shall we? All right, these are the two ones I need, I'm guessing. Is these cost zero dollars. I need Nothing that like one and I need that one. Right. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. All right, I could sell some stuff if I wanted to. Uh, traditional school robe. We'll keep just in case we maybe need that in the future for some school activities. Oh, I think that's it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Okay, we need to visit uh, the potion shop and the magic neep. But yeah, Hogsmeade is a really cool town, actually. It's, it's pretty badass, I must say. Locked? Level 2 lock. Okay, so we'll unlock certain places as we level up... Um, and go through this story. Tear, fear the goblins. I thought that this, that said tear the goblins. I was like, what does that even mean? We saw the signs. The music in this game is pretty lit, though. Have a look over here. West Hogsmeade. Blue flames. 
done and dusted. All right, we can actually like if we. Oh, what is that? Cool. <laughs> I just cut the bush. She said. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Thank you, sir. Good to be here. Oh, Quidditch gloves. Lit. What's up, sir? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I That's set me. your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all okay. manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? That's funny. Now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Indeed. Let's do it. What can I do for you today? You can give me those damn recipes. Adiru's potion oh, recipe and the decision. Wigan Well potion recipe. Thank you. Thanks. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Ashwinder oh, eggs. Come back another time if you're in a rush today. Mm. Cool. Hope to see you again. So let's check them out. Now. Anything else in here worth checking out? I do not think so. Let's put on those Quidditch gloves, though. Those seem pretty goddamn good. Well, they're not that different, actually. But is purple better than blue? Yeah, purple seems extraordinary. So that seems to be a little bit better. For sure. All right, so last place we need to go to is to the Magic Neep. No path available for open objective quests. Here it is, the Magic Neep. Well, hello there. Hello. Hello, chicken. Oh, hello there, please. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. <laughs> Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, Great name. the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? I'm down with Let that. Yes, you're after something fresh. Unlocks the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. All right, oh, not going to waste any of my money just yet, but I appreciate it. Ooh, those you sell for nine. business, haven't you? All right, meet Sebastian at the town circle. Head back in and meet Sebastian, I suppose. Let's go up and check around. Oh, there's a page, look. Ah, oh, you bastard, come here. Where'd that page go? Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> gotcha, sucker. Let's go back up along this way. Oh, we leveled up to level four. Sweet, that means we can put on that new, um, that new bloody, what was it called? Scarf, I think it was. Forest Tartan Scarf. Yes, sir. That actually looks kind of clean, not gonna lie. And it puts our offense up by four. So definitely worth having on there. All right, we just need new shoes and stuff now. Can you actually get new shoes? No, you can't. Oh, interesting. That kind of sucks because my shoes my shoes blow. Me and Sebastian are going to cause a ruckus in this place. Let me tell you that much. I see you there too. Ah. Oh, look at that bird. He's dope. <laughs> you got treated, buddy. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a Deeracle around here. Oh. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. 
there you are. Ha! Huh, finally, I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind. I'll Where the hell did it go? Meet, here I come. I want to get that. Again, all sorts of pages. I want to get that thing, that bird. Can I get it? You get quite a lot of XP for those pages, by the way. Sweet. Sebastian, how are you doing, pal? Long time no see. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Sounds good to me. I'm down to get up. I'm down to clown, basically. That doesn't sound good, though. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Let's go, ladies. One fire! Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! Let's help out. Come on, boys. There's another one? Oh, God. Ooh, that was. I did not press that quick enough. Come on, then, boy. Me and Sebastian are gonna clown on you, boy. While he's knocked down, do more damage to him. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh my God, he absolutely clocked me. Jesus Christ. Okay, he's doing some serious business. Oh, you can hit him with a barrel a like that. Cool. Taste of his own medicine, boy. What's up? Ah! <laughs> that does serious damage to him as well. Akio, baby. Not sure that Akio does much to him, but... Yes, repair. That's what I meant to do. Woo! Levioso, I'm not sure we're going to be able to lift him, unfortunately, pal. He's faltering. We got him. Bah! Yeah! Let's go. Me and Sebastian owning this bloody troll. Ancient magic? Oh, shit! Oh, wow. Troll with the punches. Dope. That was awesome. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If what? you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. I mean, of I clearly course, helped. Sir. Singer. Officer Singer, and thank you, again. Why are you saying thanks if I didn't even help? Makes no sense. Repair her. Alright, bring that statue back. A moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Alright, you did that. Repair her. Bring that car back up. Put that back up and running. Best thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Alright, is that everything? Uh, that should be everything now. Oh no, this here. Reparo! Reparo! Sweet, that's where the troll broke through. What the? Alright, here we go. You in here? Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Need a sop of tea after that. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Ooh, maybe we can get some fire clothes. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls. And not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. 
I own glad rags, wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. Oh, yeah. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give Ooh. you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of I'm you. I'm not going to turn it it's down. the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? I ain't going to turn it down. Ready I'll take a... Perusal today. Take your time. A traditional school robe. I mean, I already have that, don't I? You won't be disappointed. That's a glad... You've received a new piece of beer gear. Time to equip it. Right, but I already had a goddamn... Maybe I didn't, actually. Traditional school robe... Oh, this one has five offense. I see. Okay, cool. And I might... I, I guess I should probably save my money rather than buying all sorts of stuff early on. We'll, we'll see what kind of gear we need when we go, when we go along. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Mm. Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The Three Broomsticks is just this way. Great name. The Three Broomsticks. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined... You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Thank you, sir. What are these po chests with the eyes, by the way? Am I supposed to do something with them? All right, Sebastian, let's go. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. Okay. She's a good one to know. Sounds good. I'm down to meet Serona. There we go. Give me that. Yes. No, please tell me I got that page. Tell me I got that page first. I think I did, just about. So I got that page. Oh. It's the guy we saw at the start. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? Mm -hmm. All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Run, boys. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. All right, they definitely saw us. Our at least Ranrock did. They definitely saw us. Yep, there you go. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gog. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Fuck. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. Man? My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, Shit. How timely. Was that Lodgog I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Damn right I am. A quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. 
Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Mm -hmm. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get back to Hogwarts now. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. I agree with you, sir. Let's get back to the castle. Let's talk to everyone around here, though. A little muffin? I'll take I'll take that. Nighttime now, too. Maybe I'm we should fast travel back. Sarona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. So it is a she, but it sounds that. like a dude's she voice actor. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Okay. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Must return to your common room from the for the night, except. See the Hogwarts button? Switch to the Hogwarts map. Plus cooking, good looking. Hey. Bro, this guy's just sitting in the seat next to my bed. Are you watching me sleep, bro? Welcome to Hogsmeade. Little creep. Alright, level five. New quest available. Sweet! Making progress now. It feels satisfying to make progress. This scarf looks lit as well. Let's go. 69 different enemy types, by the way. Rolls was the first one, but that's kind of crazy that there's 69 types. Was not expecting there to be that many enemies. I wonder how long this game is. I believe in the region of like 30 hours or so, if you're doing mostly main story stuff. I know Game Right completed it in 25 hours, or 20 hours, I think, but I think he did mainly main stuff. Oh, we received an owl post. Okay. Let's have a look at this. From who? From Fig. Okay. What does it say? Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. That sounds promising. Oh, I tried to go upstairs. It didn't let me. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Do not want me going upstairs yet, I guess. That's funny. So. All right. Let me out of here. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Viaduct Courtyard, Flu Flames location discovered. They yeah, were still a decent ways away, but getting some good views in along the way. Look at them on the broomsticks. Sick. I need my broomstick. What's this do? I don't know. Doesn't seem to be doing anything really, does it? Some more wonderful views as kids broomstick over me. Okay, I need my broom. I want my broom. I want to fly. Defense against the Dark Arts Tower. I was already here, though. Those statues watching me is super creepy, man. <laughs> Pet the cat. Pet the cat. Pet the cat. This one's cute with his blue eyes. What's going on here, pal? Professor Fig's place is pretty awesome, I must say. Fig! Where you at, son? Oh, I literally just slept until he was here. <laughs> That's so random. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? They were so, after me. The trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. Mm -hmm. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Or about the goblins at Gringotts. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. 
When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to Leather be in, sure. Off a path, but I do not know where it leads. Ravenclaw? It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be mm, precise. Sebastian knows how to get beyond. us there. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Fair Once enough. you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Okay. I'll let Sounds Professor good. Hecate know to expect you. Ah. Quest complete. The locket's secret. Oh, there's something here. Pick up. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigelis Black, Headmaster. Alright, dickhead. No need for that. I, re I need to see what's going on with Eddie Cleaver, man. I, I keep hearing him randomly and I don't actually know what he's doing. Hilarious. If what are you doing there? A new student would help me with my sad predicament. I can help you, Zenobia. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Do they? I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Really? Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <laughs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Right. And Melda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway. Maybe not. I can't work out how to get them. <laughs> but I want to help her. Jesus. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. All right. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. All right. I'll do that. Don't worry. All right. Gobs of gobstones. I don't think we're going to do that quest now, though, but... Talk to Luke and Brattleby about the secret dueling club. Oh, we can do that, actually. Let's report to Professor Hackett first, though. And, um... And get this new quest. Incendio, I think we're about to do. That should be real fun. Hell yeah, baby! Hello, Professor! I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Oh yeah? You know where to find me once you've finished. All right, sounds good. Win Seems two rounds of cross one. as secret as it's believed to be. Well, I actually do gotta go speak to, to Lucas anyway. 
Sounds good. Kill two birds with the one stone. Two birds, one stone. Two birds with the one stone. Level one Whee! locked, okay. <laughs> From the toilet bowl where she said I could swim, did you practice a mole? As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the meat. He tried to stop Seems me. Seems kind of perverted, but cop, sought to trap me, confine me inside this guy, of a man. jar. <laughs> but he failed us, did his containment jobs. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. I'm running away from this it guy. Poop scares me. <laughs> I want my broomstick so I can just fly all over the place. That sounds so fun. Lucan's just over there. All right, thanks, buddy. How you doing, Sebastian? Hello, Hello Lucan. Lucan. Thought it was Lucas. Lucan, okay. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. He's so, he's so like small and cute. What the hell? Like, I was not expecting to this to be the leader of the duel Sebastian's club. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Very. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining part. That sounds I really agree. fun. Besides, in crossed ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Yeah, Get let's me do in it. the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! I have Incendio now as well, don't I? Or am I do I need to win the duels first? We'll make you regret. Oh, it's two on two, okay. Oh, there's Astoria. Initiate round. Break through yellow shields with control spells like the levitation spell Levioso. Target lock or three lets you track enemies without aiming. Use or to change targets while locked. Levioso! Yeah, hit him up, hit her up even higher. Let's go, boy. Oh shit! No, no, no. I pressed the wrong button. Oh god, I'm dying here. How do I use a healing item? Down on the D-pad deal. Okay. Yes, one down. Come on. Let's go, Seb. Knock her down. Let's go, baby. Victory is ours. Boom. Victory. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very Sounds good, good. master spell combinations. Come and see me, and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Thanks, Lucan. Appreciate it, buddy. I'll see you back here again. Thanks, pal. All right, cross rounds, uh, cross ones, round one completed. We have to win two rounds of it though. Complete a spell, uh, spell combination practice with. Luke. Oh, we gotta, we gotta do the practice with him as well. So we gotta do that now. Next time you need a partner for cross ones, don't hesitate to call on me. All right, how about right now? Let's do it. Hello, Lucan. And then win the second. May I one. use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Yes, sir. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay, I think I can finish all of them. All right, cast Accio followed by four consecutive basic attacks. Okay. Accio. Boom. Good now, one. Levioso. And four basic attacks. Levioso. <laughs> Dual Sense features are kicking in real nicely now as well. Nice I'm using the new so. Dual Sense Edge controller if you didn't know from my stream or whatever. Okay, I want to do. Okay. Piece it all together. Bang, baby. Go. That was nasty. I'd 
say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. Fair. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. <laughs> I love this kid. He's hilarious. He's a funny old kid. Funny young kid, I should say. You have uncollected rewards. Okay. Check him out. Complete side slash relationship quest. All right. Now we have to do Hello, one more Lincoln. part of per uh, is Professor the next Hackett's. Round all set? Why, yes, it is. West. I've got a great match lined up. Ready right. for another round? I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. Let's do it. I need to be Brilliant. using my uh, parry more. Are you dueling with a partner? Let's bring in Natsy yes, this time. Natsy. Then let's get to it. Sebastian was standing right there, so I probably should have chose him. But ready to get thrashed. Good to have Natty in as well now. Against the Slytherin. Apologies oh, three. In advance. Three on two. That's bullshit. Okay, so the Violet Shields is Akio. Okay. Akio. Akio. Nice, that was nasty. That was a sick one right there. Oh, damn it. Press the wrong button, you know. Ah, damn it, I didn't press the right button. Again. I need to wait to see what the button is, for God's sake. Are you quite finished? You're better than that. Leviosa. Ah, Leviosa. See ya. No, wrong button, but I dodged. I still dodged. Ah. Loser. Come on, 41. Hit her for 41. Wait, what? Why did my wand not work? I don't have enough... Uh... Oh, I think it was because I had used it too recently. Whoa, chill. Leviosa. Come on, Constant Dagworth. Victory is ours. I could be using R1 there as well. Pity more people can't watch the duels. All right, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm not quite all the way there yet, but I'm getting the hang of it. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other <laughs> duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. <laughs> You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. All right, sweet. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Speaking of gobstones, I do need to do that side quest, Assignments actually. All finished. Assignments all finished. All right, let's do the rest of that side quest, then uh, the gobstones one. Let's try that out. The gobs of gobstones. Get one handles for this. Okay. Well, we got some new glasses. Bookish half rim, rim spectacles. Love it. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. That one there. Levioso. There we go. It's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Sweet. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Gonna be up the very top. I'd better Ooh. keep an eye on high places class. around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ideal. Accio. Boom. Ooh, a ladder comes down. What's up here? Ought to be something up here if the ladder came down like that, right? Hello. Secret room, perhaps? Ooh. Oh. Madua Anai. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished facility. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Weasley. I wonder if this is um Natty's mother, potentially. They have the same second name, right? Or am I tripping? Do I see a gobstone? Hey, give me that. Take that page, though. Aha. And... Oh, there it is. Sweet. That's three. We got half of them now. I want to get them all. I mean, I'll probably just uh, edit from, from place to place here and get all the gobstones. Not that difficult to find them, to be fair. Oh, here's one of these. Okay. Uh, let me check what the, the numbers are. I don't have that page yet, but Game Riot sent me the page. So, uh, Unicorn and Spider would be nine. Add that. That's four. So, we need a four for the first one. Do we even Rebellion. know where the first one is? I know where either of them are. That's the second one. Where's the first one? First one's over here. So, we need four. What's four? Four is... Um, hey, let me look. Yeah, that's four. Okay. 
We got a scholar's robe. And then the second one, 13 and 3, I believe. Yes, 13 and 3 adds to 16, so we need 5. And 5, I believe, is the spider. Not that one, that one. Yes, I believe that's 5, so that should work. There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it! Collection. Dark Herbologist's hat. We'll be on our merry little way. Okay, there should be one around here somewhere. Ravenclaw Tower. This is around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I see it. You don't need to keep telling me that, buddy. I got that. I got that much. We're in the Ravenclaw area now. Oh. There's got to be one up here. Oh, the chest room. Let's reveal it. All right. So 15 and 2 is 17. So we need 6. 6 is, I believe, the, the lizard. So six is the first question mark. Where was the first question mark? It was up here. And we need the lizard here. That one. And then this one here. 19. Okay, we got nine and three, I think. Adds up to 12. So we need seven. Seven is the octopus. So we need the octopus here. There we go. Nailed it. I wonder if there's a gobstone perhaps behind here. Would that be possible, I wonder? Maybe, but I doubt it somehow. No. Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There we go. And then there's another one potentially in here. There it is. Accurate. That's the Sweet. last of Zenobia's gobstones. Got him! I should go and see her. Let's do that. Let's go see little Zenobia. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking uh, I down have Zenobia. Stones. I found them. I found all your gobstones. Really? <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> what the you hell? Have my gobstones back. Why <laughs> so harsh? I think I'll keep them. That would be mean. Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, no. now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Bad idea. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Yeah, I mean, the whole reason that they got put away in the first place was because you were being stupid like that, so... <laughs> that makes sense now. All right, so... We go back to Professor Hackett again? Hackett again, or what? what's up next? On the agenda. What are you doing there, Hello pal? There. Oh, it's this guy, Arthur Perhaps Plumley. Oh, God. Me. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Mm -hmm. That sounds Slight interesting. Slight from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts. I, if I have to listen to this guy for you can keep more than ten minutes, it's going to be annoying. Of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map. I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Ah, I'm going there anyway. All Very right. well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. All right. We'll do it, pal. Cheers. What the hell is that? There's like a hand. Oh, there's the, the hippo thing, of course. And then there's the outside. There's an outside door behind the pond. Okay. That's an interesting treasure map. All right, Professor Hecate. I did what you I wanted. Teach Mr. me Incendio. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Mungus. fire is a fickle servant. Your Those eyes are creeping me out. has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, all right, all right. focus on the proper wand movement. 
Sounds good. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Go. Ah. Yeah, we got this easy. Woohoo! Incendio! Let's light something aflame here. You've learned enough spells that you'll need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap it with a different Good spell. One. Okay, uh, I guess... I guess I could do it instead of Reparo, because we don't really need that to be, like, instant, right? You have uncollected rewards available in the challenges menu. Alright, done and dusted. Let's go. Incendio. Lit. Destructive flames at a short range. Okay, let's try it here. A little closer. Get oh! It. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. We'll try my best. <laughs> Return to Professor Fig's classroom. Okay. This was here. There's the fountain. Yeah, there's a door here closer. in the background. The Hello. Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Hello, Nelly Ogspire. Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. What's that even mean? Keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Mole, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. Uh, that sounds if good. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Okay. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Peeves, he's hilarious. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried, and I can't even get past Ooh. the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. I'll look into Perhaps it. I'll Cheers. It I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Okay, sounds good. We have a I we have a head start. A it was this keys, door here. If you manage to open a cabinet, brought us in somewhere, right? Okay, thank you. All right, I just blatantly ran off on her. Maybe it's this stairwell over here. The stairwell looks promising. Ah, yep. This has got to be where we're being led to. This Ooh, the rhino like a again. From the map. And where's the treasure? Behind it, maybe. Revelio. Oh, it is behind the painting. Aha! <laughs> there cool. was a doorway hidden within the portrait. That was dope. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Good question. I thought that was Arthur for a second. Arthur, are you in here, pal? The sorting hat there he is. Find anything yet? Hello, Got Arthur. the treasure, baby. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. <laughs> what did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. All right. Well, see you next time, my fellow Hufflepuffian. Hash in the castle. Rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. <laughs> All right, see you later, pal. You fun. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. No, I can't. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. It's a beast. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. Let's do it. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. All right, I can go with Sebastian. That man 
plan is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. I think we should go with Sebastian. Talk to Sebastian. There you go. See? I knew it. We're going to head there ourselves. Probably not wise to go there without a t-shirt. But me and Sebastian, we're troublemakers. We like having fun. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted mm -hmm. section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Called it. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the three broomsticks. Oh, did I? Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. <laughs> it's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault. Should I be telling map. Sebastian this? That map leads to the restricted Probably not, section. But what can you do? You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention? Detention, no doubt. <laughs> but a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. The end of it, pal. Good luck. Meet Sebastian at the Central Hall at night. Oh, I mean, it's already nighttime, so... That was easy. <laughs> See there? That's the door we need to reach. Okay. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. All right. All right. The solution. Go. Ah. Nailed it. Disillusionment. Where'd that page go? There was a page over here somewhere. Use dis uh, disillusionment to avoid being detected in off-limits areas. I'm gonna go down the stairs. Nearby adversaries will sense and then investigate suspicious behavior. Being caught by authority figures will result in quest failure. Oh shit, okay. Disillusionment, I got to hold to assign it. Let's uh, assign it instead of Lumos, I guess, for now. It's a shame you can't like have more than four spells equipped at once. Seems kind of silly, like there should be an L2 as well maybe or something, I don't know. Silent as a grave. Let's go. How long does this shit last, by the way? Alright, through we go. Come on. Fuck, really? Come on, man. She, how quickly is she going to turn around? How do we get away with that? Don't know. Started turning around right then. Librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Okay. Let's go. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? 
The key is in the drawer. We're just standing right desk. out in the open. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian mm. twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. All right. Sounds good, buddy. You do that. Go on. Get her attention, for God's sakes. What? Hey, okay, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. P Professor Black, might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section in Crusade of Blue... Bloom seems to think of the library as her own personal air arena in which to practice her latest incantations. It, must, it is most disruptive. One night, consider one might. It's hard to read her handwriting. Consider Peeves tame by comparison to such antics. I doubt it somehow. The key. Here it is. Jesus, she's right there. All right, we got the key. Let's get the hell out of here. See you later, you librarian nerd. Ha, ha, ha. That wasn't so difficult after all. It was alright, eh? Find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Use basic cast while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies to a desired location. Aim mode grants precision spell targeting and reveals additional spell targets. Okay. Someone here, though. Ghost. Don't let her see you. Who? Ghost, okay. Aha. Geniose. Oh, that was close. Okay, I didn't realize there were Should two ghosts. The no need for us to be skulking about. Alright, sounds good. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Or Sebastian. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Another one of these bastards? Why the hell was that? Who knocked this down, though? Swirl, dark gray, okay. Who have we oh. here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. For the guest. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves. Don't you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. What a piece I'm of garbage, dude. Uh. Oh, blasted peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. <laughs> now go. Good luck in your search. All right, pal. Now, Thank you. Where has that damned poltergeist got to? I think we can trust Sebastian. Just the spell to repair this armor. All right, let's uh, let's get Repero back then. Repero. Ah, Repero. And there's a chest. Wiganwell potion. What else do we have in here? Ooh, we're going down into the depths of a crypt here. It seems like. So. Oh. We get behind here. Yeah. Ooh, this is a little scary, isn't it? It's all dark. Of course. And cryptic. Traces of ancient magic. Oh, one of these things. There must Shit. be more to this room. That's it. Of course there is. Enter. All right. I'm scared. Anyone else scared? Just me. Oh, it's a large chest. Curious silver spectacles. Gold as well. They're legendary. Where might this lead? Let's find out, sir. 
Discover the secret of the antechamber. Okay. I need to repair a bridge here or something, do we? Repair it. No, maybe. Oh, oh that actually did work. Ha! Beautiful. Wasn't expecting that to work, to be honest. Not surprising. Cards mm. at the ready. Yep, yeah, of course. Come on, then, boys. Oh, that was nasty. A keen sense of spell. Oh my god. That absolutely wrecked that man. Wow, really? You missed? Ooh, sorry. Didn't see that coming. Choo. My god, that spell is lethal, boys. Thank god we had two of those. So basically, you build that up by getting combos and stuff. But it doesn't seem like you have too many of them. Not just a little too late there. Yeah! Come on, boy. Incendio! Incendio! Finished him off beautifully. Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. Okay, that's handy as hell. In, uh, cast devastating ancient magic attacks. Yes, I realize that. I realize that now. Nothing in behind here, is there? No. Alright, just making sure. More guards. Okay, come on then. Not exactly what I was intending there. Nice block. That was beautiful. 92 damage that did. I love the counters, man. They're they're nasty. Come on, open that bridge up. Why did it even close it in the first place? How do I get that chest over there? Hmm. You gotta run! Okay. The minute this comes here. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Ooh! That was tense. We made it. This must be the way forward, but to where? Good question. Oh, gotta go this way first. Uh, see, now I'm just confused. Um. Nearly there. I see. Best keep my wits well, about. We could have gone over that way potentially, but I'm guessing just for some side stuff. Gold Dragon Iron Spectacles. Woodlands Ensemble. Okay. Looks like a proper outfit there. Oh god, lots of uh, lots of enemies here. Lots and lots of them. Okay, come on. Bah! Oh my god, 16... Th that did 1,600 damage. What was that 16,000? No way it should be doing that much, should it? Potato! Potato! Knocked him off the edge. See you later, pal. Oh, didn't know you were alive yet. Repair up. Not what I meant to do, really, but. Incendio. Levioso. Levioso. Shouldn't have used that. Shouldn't have used that. Wasted that. Protego. Protego, baby. All right, got them all. Took me a little bit longer. I'm still getting used to the combat a little bit. I haven't kind of immediately come to grips with it. It's it taking me a, a second. Book after all. Let's check out this book. We want to be a damn good book for what we all just went through there, eh? Let us see. What does this book do? me to do that oh here's uh the two that we saw earlier <laughs> gonna kill those kids or something water's gone
Wrong with the kid. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but... It was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we've never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. All right. He seems kind of evil, huh? But super interesting, I gotta say. Sebastian. Everyone who joins as a fifth year has those kind of powers, potentially. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Peeves is such a little rat bastard. I hate him. Sebastian's a real one, though. I knew we could trust him, man. Sebastian just is a real one. Complete main quest, three out of four. Secrets of the Restricted Section. Indeed, right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, this game's awesome, man. Like, I really am just vibing with it perfectly. Like, I feel like it's the perfect mixture of, like, chill and exciting and and just, uh, it doesn't, like, go too hard on the nostalgia. Like, it doesn't try too hard with that, but it, everything that is happening in this game makes you feel nostalgic at the same time, you know? Big homes and tribulations. He's still not here? I think we just had to wait till morning, was it? Oh shit, he's still here. You cannot be serious. Oh, it's not. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's. Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Okay. Sir. I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Indeed it was. An important what? book indeed. That's... Wait. 
You access the restricted section, mm -hmm. but how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. There's a uh, mm. page is torn out, of course there oh, is. Dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. Okay. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osborne? So he's death? confirmed dead, I then. I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I think that's fair. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. Okay, we do need to do those classes. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Thanks, oh, buddy. And don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I have like one friend, okay? Bastion's literally like my only friend in this game. I guess Natty could potentially be my friend. Up to level seven we go. Okay, sweet. Ah, oh, we got the rewards from the four main quests. There we go. A legendary cape. Nice. Right, guys, I think that's where we'll end part number two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a big like. I am absolutely adoring this game so far. I can't wait to play more and see where we go from here. It's saying I've only played three hours. I've played at least, at least five hours at this point. I don't know why the hell it's saying three hours. Maybe it's three hours of like game time when I'm not in menus or like over three hours. I don't know. I feel like it still would be more than that though. But anyway, that's where we're gonna end the part. Can't wait to, to do this as a full series. If you want to see me do some streams, like I said, I'm down to do that as well. Down to clown around on streams. If you guys want would prefer to see me stream this and interact with you guys, let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.